Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wasn't actually going to record a video but I decided to wake myself up, put some makeup on and finally get to doing an actual video. So I took like three days off kind of thing just to um, really focus on myself and just I don't know just process everything that has been happening over the few days because i had such tremendous support um i've also had some like negative kind of thing on my instagram which you know like if the majority are positive and supportive while the minority are still there's always going to be someone out there that doesn't agree with something or doesn't like the way i do something or is jealous the way i do something so i can't please everyone and i didn't expect to be able to please everyone when i returned to youtube and stuff like that and now i just like i really don't care but like um I just needed some time to just process everything and decide where I want to go um, if I want to continue YouTube, if I want to continue my social medias and obviously I decided to continue my social medias and to continue doing what I'm doing, what I like to do. Anyways, I won't try and mention numbers but like I don't want to promise in case I do slip up somewhere in this video and I do mention a number. So this is like your trigger warning right now before I go on to this video that numbers may be mentioned. Um, I don't believe in BMIs and things so I won't mention any BMI numbers because I just think they're bullshit to begin with. So I'm not going to really talk about BMIs or anything. I might just talk about general weight like is in kilograms and things. Um, but like not my own because I don't feel comfortable in sharing that and I don't really feel it's necessary to share that and why do you even care so much you know what I mean like that's my kind of thing I don't care so you shouldn't care so that's just I just wanted to clarify that to begin with um so weight gain weight gain is one of them things that probably needs to happen for everyone even if you're at a healthy weight i would say um people think that they're at like a healthy weight according to guidelines and things but they might actually not be at their set point or their healthy weight like um it might stay on like nhs guidelines or bmi or whatever that you're at like you know a healthy weight or like you might be at a minimum healthy bmi and think right that's it i need to just stop gaining weight but that might not be the fact you might be like suppressing your bot natural body healthy weight by doing things like still acting and behaviors and stuff like that and like you know like I mentioned set point is your set point and everyone's set point is differently and you don't really know until you're at your self point until like you're really able to like you know maintain your weight at this healthy range without suppressing it without doing behaviors like exercising or purging or out like that um that is when you know that you're at your set point and you're able to maintain and not force it basically so I'm not going to talk about like, you know, the whole weight gain with all in because I think that I might do a separate video on that. I haven't decided. As you can tell, I'm completely um, just going with the flow kind of with these videos and completely just doing what I think needs to be out there more and what doesn't. <laughs> um, so basically, I'm going to be talking about the fear of weight gain and, you know, gaining weight and coping with it and how to handle it because I feel like a lot of people, you know, gain a little bit of weight and freak out and run back to the disorder because I was one of them people. I did that for so, so long um, during this quasi phase. I was in recovery. Oh, so I want to mention if you hear that banging, that's my dad fixing the ceiling, so I apologize about that. Um, but basically, like, I was one of them people that would gain weight and then run back to the disorder and it would be this constant kind of thing of me gaining weight, running back, gaining weight, running back, and then I'd just be stuck in this quasi thing. I, I wouldn't be moving forward at all. Um, and my ED would constantly latch on. And this was the time I was, like, weighing myself and it would be really badly. It would be, like, weighing myself daily and that's not good. I recommend you do not weigh yourself daily. Like like just don't do it like it will literally just mess you up and put you off track and plus the scales and everything is just shit to begin with like the whales can't tell the difference between bone muscle fat or whether or not you've just ate a meal or whether or not like it's the end of the night like you know what i mean like scales are just not something to be trusted with so if you have the opportunity throw out your scales throw out everything and ask to be blind weight because you don't need to know that number on the scales to begin with but so let's say that you gain weight and you can start to see it now like it's not just a number in the scales but you're starting to see it you're starting to for example i started fitting it in more clothes i'm able to fit into bras now um i'm fitted into my jeans last night which i haven't fit into for like two years so that was really really scary but it was an achievement like rather than when i was in quasi when i first did that and i fit into them jeans 
I freaked out. I hate it. I had relapse thoughts instantly. I didn't want to recover anymore. I just wanted to restrict and run back to my disorder. Whereas this time when I've been fully committed and my brain's way more nourished and way more out of that calorie deficit kind of thing and I'm actually doing what I want to do in recovery rather than, you know, recovering while restricting, which cannot work. Um, and like gaining weight while restricting, like it just doesn't work. Whereas this time I've been able to like, you know, boost my metabolism and things, which only happens if you eat more food. You're gonna have a rapid weight gain, but then it will slow down and you will be able to, you know, gain weight at a consistent speed while you know eating like a high amount of calories whereas before i was restricting and i i gained weight this was before my relapse i gained weight while restricting and i like almost weight restored basically while still restricting and i couldn't even eat like two meals a day without gaining weight so it was really fucked up and i really hated it and like it was one of the worst things and i tell you now like even if you're at a healthy weight just go all in like listen to your hunger eat like surplus amount of calories even if you've been eating like you know say like 2000 calories or whatever like increase that to 3000 calories just go all in and like just just do it basically eat what you want to eat and it will benefit you like you know what i mean like you can never eat too much in recovery like you literally cannot like you can never do it you just don't do it um there is no such thing as too much food but like when you start to like grow a clothing and stuff like that the first thing i recommend you do is before you go on this weight gain journey is to kind of throw out all your old clothes that so i had hate to say it, i had like kid class like kid size clothing and stuff like that that i knew for a fact that i wouldn't fit into so i just threw them out i threw out like my entire closet i did a huge clear out of my closet and just put the things that i knew that i would fit stuff into um in like one section and bring them to the front whereas the things that i knew i definitely wasn't going to fit into i just threw out on the things that i might or might not fit into i just put in the middle i recommend you buy new clothing if you have the money of course I know don't people don't always have the money to be able to do things like this but maybe buy some new clothing that's like elastic um baggy so I wear a lot of these baggy jumpers now because they're comfortable they when I'm bloated you know like I don't have to see the bloating whereas before I would wear really like skin tight clothing almost and I would be able to see you know the blow and it was just uncomfortable and also like when you are gaining weight then you start you do kind of start to see it obviously as well and that's kind of difficult because i need to remind you have to remind yourself that this is just like a temporary recovery body so like a lot of the thing a lot of the time what happens is that the weight goes to your you know your vital organs where it needs to be stored where where like it goes to your like stomach area for example because your stomach organs need repairing it needs to be stored so it might go straight to your belly like and that's just a thing that you have to cope with but it is temporarily and it will start to like redispute to the rest of your body so like your boobs your bum um like other areas it will start to redispute to but it just takes time and it takes time for your body to trust you and it takes time for your organs to heal and like that's something that's gonna have to happen which means you're gonna have to try and be as comfortable as possible with that um by you know making yourself feel comfortable by wearing elastic clothing by like wearing baggy things you know what i mean or if you feel confident enough to, you know be confident enough wear the belly tops that you want to wear you know like wear the tight clothing if you want to wear the tight clothing like do what you think is best for you um just try to avoid triggering yourself during this time because you don't want to run back to your disorder and i also realize that when i'm in a calorie deficit i view my body completely different to when i'm I've ate enough, I've, you know, listened to my hunger all day. I see my body as a completely different thing, completely different. Um, I'm just way more accepting of my body. Whereas when I'm in a calorie deficit, I get like really bad body dysmorphia. I just think negatively. I have ED thoughts all the time, stuff like that. Whereas when I've been so nourished and so healthy, like right now, like mindset wise and eating wise, I'm just like, i'm just way more accepting of this like i sat and i wrote down this huge paragraph the other night which i'm not going to read out because it's kind of personal to me 
but I sat and I wrote down this huge paragraph just basically spewing out my thoughts onto notepad and I realized how different my mindset has changed and just like I just realized that I am so committed to this and you need to be committed to this like if you want to fully recover and if you want to handle this weight gain the right way and if you want to be accepting then you must you know you just must be committed and like it's scary and it feels awful at first and it feels uncomfortable but you know like I was reading this thing and those people I see lots of people want to do things like strength training or they go run back to the gym instantly and want to do workouts as soon as they hit a healthy weight and that's still not healthy that's not a healthy mindset like you need to learn like to love your body the way it is before you try and do anything like strength training like fair enough if you want to do that in the future you can do that in the future but first of all you need to have the self-love like if you go straight into strength training because you don't like your body are you doing it because of the way your body looks then that's not good like strength training do strength training because you want to be stronger don't do it because you want your bum to look bigger or you want your stomach to look flatter like blah 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 like stuff like that that's disordered and that's not healthy whatsoever like I will admit some people that I used to follow a lot on social media have kind of went back to this whole strength training and everything and although they claim that they're doing it you know well to be honest they're kind of doing it for the looks wise when you think and think about it but although they claim that they're healthy again they've still got a past of excessive exercise and they've still got a past of disordered kind of behaviors and they have recently just fully recovered i guess you could say so i just feel like it's just a dangerous territory um give yourself some time to you know live in the body that you've recovered in live like just give yourself some time you know what i mean um but that's kind of like after you've kind of weight restored while you're still gaining and not running back you just you need to just commit like you have to just feel shit and do it anyways and one of my favorite quotes ever i first ever heard this quote on a megzi recovery video and that was um don't give up what you want most for what you want in the moment and that is just so so true like don't give up you know like your future your life and everything just because in that one moment you feel shitty and in that one moment you want to restrict same with like um 100 calories won't you know make you gain weight or make a difference but the choice to avoid 100 calories will you know what i mean so the choice to eat 100 calories won't make a difference but the choice to avoid 100 calories will that's like just so true that that goes for anything basically like just don't restrict and the less you restrict the more clearly and rationally you'll be able to think which will mean that you'll be able to think more rationally and clearly about your body and your weight so the next bit the calorie counting so i'm gonna just do this really quickly and really rapidly because i don't want to really go really really in a day for this because calorie counting is a really tricky thing because I don't calorie count. I stopped calorie counting years ago. Even when I relapsed, I didn't start calorie counting again because I just knew it would just fuck me up even more. And I knew it's just such a hard thing to get out of. And I didn't even, I didn't do it during my relapse because I just knew how, you know, like even though I was so irrational and so mentally unstable, I still knew that getting back in the calorie counting was just bad crap like it was just bad so like just don't do it if you've stopped it and you're thinking about doing it again just don't do it just don't do it <laughs> um so basically i stopped calorie counting by deleting my fitness pal app and obviously people are gonna be like but i already know the calories of certain foods what i did personally was i tried to be more adventurous i wanted to try new foods anyways and i wanted to move away from my safe foods so what i did was i kind of bought new things to everything that i didn't know the calories of so i didn't like i bought new gluten-free bread that i didn't know the calories of compared to my last one and i asked my mom to scribble out the calories i bought new snacks and new like things to try which i also scribbled out the calories bought new cereal instead of my old cereal that i used to have i bought new things you know what i mean i would just do things like this that like buy new foods that I didn't know the calories of so then I couldn't really calculate it and even if I did 
was able to do like a rough estimate in my head and then still kind of add up things over time you just start to give up once you delete the app that's the main thing you want to do if you have a calorie count app delete it okay I don't agree with many more anymore actually because of the fact that it's still counting calories and counting calories I still personally think it's ED behaviors even if you think you have good intentions of doing it where like I want to make sure I eat the minimums I want to make sure I do this you know what I mean like you should you should already kind of like do that anyways like you should already know you eat enough because you should be eating enough and I know that those people might be like but like a lot of people might not be able to you know portion out things clearly enough but if work comes to worse ask someone else to do it for you ask someone else to like ask a family member have i ate enough today you know what i mean like and write down the things that you've ate today and then give it to someone don't like write down the calories don't like calculate the calories just write down what you've ate and ask someone who is a healthy person is this, does this look like enough for today you know what i mean you don't need to count calories to know you're eating enough you know and that if you're probably if you're questioning too have i ate enough today you probably have not ate enough today so the tips for stopping calorie counting is buy new products that you don't know the calories of and eat them instead of your old products and then in time once you've kind of got over the whole calorie counting thing then go back to those old products start to you know add them in stuff like that and i promise you like now i don't even look at the calories of things which is mad because i used to be so obsessed i would count every single calories even if it was like one calorie off like a drink or whatever i would do it i would do it so vividly but now i literally do not care um and i'm telling you it's so much more freeing when you don't feel a need to have like your dinner at x amount of calories or your lunch and x amount of calories it's just so much more free and when you just don't care about it so just that's another mindset have the mindset of i don't care like it does not matter have that mindset you know what i mean a calorie is a calorie the calorie between a banana might be the same calories between like you know 100 calorie chocolate bar or whatever do you get what i mean like a calorie is just a calorie see energy like see calories as energy points rather than this bad thing if you if you're still like you know calculate them in your head unconsciously then think about them as energy points and the more energy points you have the better it is okay um but yes that's just like my they're my just my mini tips for stopping calorie counting and i hope this video helped you i hope this video gave you a little bit more understanding about weight gain and coping with it and also just a quick rundown on calorie counting so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye